Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. A long while. I feel like I say that often. But yeah, it's been a while. So today's Black Friday. Um, no, I'm not going shopping. I don't have time for it. I'm not going to stand in no line at 2 a.m. or whatever time you guys go out there to shop. Yeah, I'm not shopping, period. I think I did some shopping online this morning for a few things, a few things. Christmas Christmas gifts but I'm not going in no store I'm not by that life but anyways while some of you guys are gonna be spending money I'm gonna try to make some money so I am going to take a few of I cleaned out my closet last week and I realized there's a lot of clothes I have in my closet that I don't use like I don't use like if I haven't used it in a year I'm not gonna use it again so I clean out my closet. Some stuff still have tag on it. Just like one or two still have tags on it. Or some I wear like a few times. So I'm going to take them to play those closet. And I'm going to try to see if I can make some money this Black Friday. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. And see how that goes. Guys, I just had to show you guys this. Like, I stopped for gas. And I'm like, let me see. There's two, four cars in front of me. Like... Really, people out here shopping and getting gas at Sam's Club. Alright guys, we are here at Plato's Closet. Right over here. I'm going to try to cross the street and not get hit. But, we're here. They're open. Let's go in and see. No, first time. What's your phone number? You're gonna get a text, click on the link, fill out the information with your ID. When you're done, I need to see your ID. I went into Plato's closet. Um, they checked me in, so they got my phone number, and they sent me a text and had a link, and I um, put in my information, my name, my email, and my driver's license and expiration date. So, if you were to sell at Plato's closet, you need ID. You need ID. You need ID. So the guy told me 12 to 15 minutes. They'll send me a text message. I was going to browse around in the store, but I was like, I don't really want to buy anything. So I was like, I'll just come sit back in my car. So right now I'm in my car and I'm sitting. So I'm just going to wait for the text and see how that goes. Fingers crossed I make some money today. If not, it was worth a drive. So we'll see. So yeah. I got a text. Okay. It was just mainly due to our inventory in those okay. items. We did take in three items for thirteen fifteen. Okay. Did you want to see what we took in? Yeah, I don't remember. Right, guys so i decided to drive to another play-doh closet i'm here let's see how this one goes all right i'll let you guys know so i am inside the second play-doh closet that i went to and i'm just walking around they said uh, 10 to 15 minutes so just walking around browsing a little bit at this one because i haven't been in this location before just browsing around seeing what they have they have a lot of stuff So guys, the second Play-Doh closet only took one item, and it was a set. It was a pants and a shirt. It was like a set, and I got three seventy-three for that one item. It was not bad because I wasn't gonna wear it, so it's okay. And all together, between two Play-Doh closets, I made sixteen dollars and eighty-eight cents. So that was my experience with Play-Doh's closet. I do think some of my stuff are kind of outdated, so that's probably why I didn't get more of it sell. 
but now that I know that Play-Doh's closet is there, if there's any stuff that's more up to date, I could always try again. But that was my Play-Doh's closet run for the day. I'm gonna head home. It is a wash day, girls. A wash day. This hair needs to be washed still. So. I'm gonna head home. And thank you guys for watching. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that bell down below so you can get all my notifications when I upload. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.